everybody, this is Shelby from Chicago Music Exchange and today I have with me this very cool 1965 Fender Bass 6 in Lake Placid Blue. The Bass 6 is kind of a strange instrument as that it is not a bass or a guitar or a baritone, but somehow it is all of those things in one. The Bass 6 was released in 1961, right around the same time that the Jag came out. It was really designed to compete with Dan Electro's UB4 at the time. The original production line ran up until 1975, which is a really long period of time considering how strange this thing really truly is. The Fender Bass 6 is not a baritone. It is actually tuned like an electric guitar in perfect fists from E to E, uh, but down an entire octave like a bass would be. But it's also not a six string bass with a huge neck. It's a 30 inch scale with 21 frets. So you can get all the way up here. You're gonna want that note. Like a Jag, you have independent switches for each pickup here and also a high pass filter, the strangle switch. So you can get a wide variety of tones. Also these pickups, although they look like strap pickups in the way that Jaguar pickups look like strap pickups, they're actually quite a bit different because of the comb here on the sides. This metal piece actually focuses the energy into the middle of the pole piece so you have a much more defined sound than you would in a strap pickup. And uh, even this really great Fender Mute, which also came on the Jaguar. So if you really wanted to get that tic-tac bass sound, you just have the articulation of the note, but not in the sustain, you can mute the notes. This one's actually intact. A lot of the old ones fall apart. You need to replace them. These uh, instruments were played by the likes of Carol Kay. Uh, ever heard of her? She's part of the Wrecking Crew. Glenn Campbell, also really big country artist and pop star and recording artist with Phil Spector. The Beatles? No? The Cure? I think it's just a fun hybrid, again, between playing bass and electric guitar because you can really, you know, make beautiful chords um, that are obviously an octave below what you normally would be in as a guitar player, but still have all the feel and functionality of, of a guitar. I mean, having a trim on a bass is really interesting. It also has an offset waist, like this, so it's comfortable. Hit your leg here but it hits your waist up here because when you're sitting, Phil Spector's like, let's do it again. Let's do another take. And you're like, oh, I'm Carol Kay. Sure, it's no problem. At least you're comfortable with your sunglasses while you're in the studio. And Glenn Campbell's sitting next to you and you're like, whoa, that's Glenn Campbell. And you're like, but it doesn't matter because I'm Carol Kay. And like Hal Blaine's back there like playing the drums. You're like, whoa, it's Hal Blaine. Like, who cares? Brian Wilson's losing his mind. Pet sounds. And then the Beatles come in and they're like, whoa, we're the Beatles. You want to play the Sgt. Pepper solo? Like, how about Hey Jude? And like, no, that song doesn't use the bass six. How about a different one that does? And then Carol Kay is like, I don't care, I'm Carol Kay. Mm -hmm. 